Ignore all the measurements in Paper Career Designer 2 except your height. You're going to need it for this tutorial. To scale your helmet in Paper Career Designer 3, all you got to do is you go and click on 2D menu, scroll down to change scale, and click on scale factor. If you get, let's say, 29 centimeters as your height, convert it to millimeters by multiplying by 10, which you get 290 millimeters. In my case, I decided to input 30 centimeters, which in Pepper Curry Designer 3 equals 300 millimeters. As you can see, when I plug in my number, the width and depth accommodate correspondingly. When you're satisfied, click OK. You have noticed that the pieces to your right have increased in size and are now overlapping the dashed lines. To fix this, simply go to File and click on Print and Paper Settings. This is to minimize the safe margin of the cardstock paper. This adds more room for the pieces to fit in each paper. Copy what I have. When you're done, click OK. The pieces can now be reassembled to fit inside the lines. Once you're done moving your pieces, you can go ahead and print. I strongly recommend you do not print on economy, as it pixelates the lines you need to cut. You want those lines to be crisp and clear for perfect cuts and folds. I'm glad you made it through the tutorial, and I have to apologize. I completely forgot about part two for about a year and a half. I'm not sure how long it was, but I know it was a more than a year. Um, anyway, today uh, I want to show you guys how that helmet that you just saw in the tutorial looks like in real life. This is the helmet that you just saw in the tutorial, and its measurements are 30 centimeters or 300 millimeters. Well, I'm going to stick with centimeters here. So this is a, the height is 30 centimeters, and as you can see, it's really, it's perfect. I think 30 is the magic number. Now, I don't have any paddings, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to hold it real quick. Okay, so you do have, I mean, it scrapes your ear a little bit, but in all honesty, this is the perfect size because once you put your head in this helmet, you have just enough room to put padding and to put fans and to put the wires and batteries for LEDs. It is absolutely perfect. Also, keep in mind, I am six foot tall, six, six one. And uh, that may have to vary be for to be proportional to your height in uh, how tall are you. So keep that in mind. That's very important. Whenever I put this helmet on, it looks like it's big compared to my my shoulders and my arms. But that's because I don't have the armor. If I had the armor and all the paddings and everything, the chest and the and the shoulder uh, plates, I would look proportional. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the armor 
which is my dream to have, but I have the I lost the motivation long ago. Now let me show you an example of a, a 33 centimeter helmet. This is a 33 centimeter helmet. And compared to my head, it's pretty big. Now when I compare it to the 30 centimeters, let me see if I can do this. Oh God. Yeah, you can you get you get the idea. Yeah, you can tell which which one is bigger. This is a 33 centimeter, 30 centimeter. Yeah, it was very sad when it turned out to be really big because I could tell halfway through pepping it. And uh, that's a very sad moment when you're pepping a helmet that it's going to turn out too big. But uh, I finished it anyway because I thought it was like, nah, it's a cool-ass helmet. Why not have it? Okay, so another tip that I would like to show you, I'm going to show you that helmet in a sec, is... Um, this is an ODST helmet. I forget by who. Um, but uh, this helmet is also 30 centimeters high. And if I were to put this, I can't put this one on because of fiberglass. Um, if I were to put this, it would look absolutely perfect. It would be pretty, pretty proportional to my body. And this is uh, another helmet that I made with 30 centimeters as my height as well. So in my opinion, 30 is the magic number if you're six foot, really, uh, six foot or higher. Um, uh, keep in mind that each helmet has a different uh, like hole uh, because uh, they're just all different, and um, you might have to cut away some some X's so that your head can fit in. Uh, I had to do that with this bad boy. I had to cut some edges, but it turned out fine. I didn't have to do it with this one, but uh, this one is absolutely perfect. Let me, I can put this one on for you guys. Um, okay, so, what else? Okay, so this helmet is, uh, pretty small compared to what the ones that I've shown you. It is so small, I can barely put it on. And I can put it on, but it, it's a plastic, it's a, it's a mold. It's actually from one of the, uh, Facebook fan pages. I don't know... If it's, I forget. There's so many fan pages for props. There's four fifth. There's uh infantry, armory, infantry. I don't know. I forget the names. Um, I bought the I bought this helmet from a guy uh, from from uh, Facebook for a hundred and fifty dollars, and I was fortunate enough to have the money at the time. And it, this is an incredible helmet. I mean, it is just remarkable it has the visor and everything so uh, it, it's actually a little too small but it does fit and I think don't I I don't I'm not too positive about this but I remember the guy saying that this is a, a the height of the helmet is 27 centimeters 27 so that's actually uh, that's actually pretty good because if you're if you think your head is not, my head's pretty big, I think. I don't know. 
Um, if you think you have a small head, go with 27 centimeters, but don't go below that. I think uh, after 27, if you go to 26, that's just pushing it a little bit. You're going borderline small. Um, but again, it does. It all depends on the helmet. It all depends on how the file is pepped. There's a lot of factors that go into it. So in the end, you it's pretty much trial and error. But 27 to me would be borderline. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I think uh, if I remember anything, it'll be edited. So you guys are awesome. I I apologize again for the long long wait. I hope uh, this makes it up. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.